hello everyone welcome back to new video today we are going to uh, see uh, interesting part uh, one that is we are starting with a new thing that is cicd pipeline so what does the general cicd pipeline is and uh, what all the tools general cicd pipeline have we generally use uh, heard about jenkins gitlab and we'll also see a quick demo of the jenkins how to install jenkins so cicd is nothing just a continuous integration and continuous deployment we can say so where we have uh, like we don't need to go with the manual part uh, everything is automation for us we have a uh, uh, push our code to the github then we uh, we build then we will test okay we have a uh, github where developer pushes the code developer push the code then it generally builds then it uh, test okay this code test then if it gets success then it goes to the production part okay production part or we can say successful deployment this is generally a cicd pipeline cicd pipeline is sort of going into a pipeline work so here there is a tool generally we use in cicd pipeline that is jenkins okay so jenkins is one of the tool uh, uh it is generally used by the industries for creating cicd pipeline and uh, seeing the things and uh, meeting their pipelines uh, infrastructures and everything by jenkins so today in this video we are going to see how we can uh, install jenkins over kubernetes cluster with the help of uh, helm and in the previous video i have showed you how you can install jenkins by uh, direct commands and all those but today we are going to set up uh, jenkins by helm okay so let's start this video with a quick practical demo so i have this uh, kubernetes cluster virtual machine let me let's me quickly open okay this is our kubernetes cluster aws terraform is working so let's quickly open your git bash oh, oh, git bash over here kubectl we have here then let me quickly configure let me open my git bash over here so we are working on the aws kubectl let's quickly open and let's uh, use this cluster let me quickly copy and it generally it is a kube export command used to use that particular config just quickly paste and provide with a con dot yml file then so if you check with the cluster kubectl get svc or anything so you will get the things you will get the which all the services are running into this particular config file so let's wait it's take just uh, quite seconds to start the service uh, we have started kubectl export uh, it's taking some time for a credential issue so so let's do one thing let's quickly connect with uh, our vs code there is a issue getting connections with that particular part so let's connect with the vs code vs code we also have an option to connect with our vs code okay so let's uh, quickly it is opening okay and let me quickly open with my infrastructure. So we are logging into our Kubernetes cluster. So let's quickly check with the services. Kubectl get SVC. Uh, so here our services are been running. Okay. And uh, let's quickly, uh, let me quickly. Yeah, uh, the things are been fine working for you. So let's create cre quickly create a namespace where you will install our Jenkins. So kubectl create namespace. Okay, let's create one uh, kubectl create namespace and let's create a uh, namespace as uh, Jenkins Helm and Helm. Okay, we are just quickly creating uh, namespace been created and if you want to mm, now we have uh, i already have certain commands to install our jenkins through the helm i will be sharing you 
this command in this command link into the description so where you can go and you can do the same practical with me okay so we are just directly installing let me quickly add my jenkins uh, repo into this so first of all we have helm repo add jenkins ci so jenkins ci already exists if you uh, it's a compulsory if you don't have this i have already added this particular part if you guys don't have you can uh, just quickly run this part too okay then we are installing with through the helm let me quickly paste and let me quickly provide my jenkins helm file okay so it's it has started downloading your jenkins it has already started your jenkins downloadation to the helm so what does the helm do helm will uh, create everything for you on the top of the kubernetes cluster it will create a service file for you it will create deployment file for you and it's uh, set up uh, everything every infrastructure for us that's why we are using helm and it's quite uh, easy also everything it uh, do for us okay so let me quickly uh, and by this command we get to know about password okay password of the Jenkins so I have just copied let me quickly clear and let me paste uh, that particular command into the chat box so it will be quite easy for us to uh, first let's expose the service and then we'll find the command so kubectl get svc and our namespace was Jenkins Helm. So when you hit enter, you will get uh, we there is a Jenkins service running over here. We need to expose to the load balancer. So let's quickly edit kubectl edit uh, uh, my Jenkins. Okay, this is our uh, we are we need to edit our SVC file kubectl. We are editing our Jenkins and providing with the namespace by hyphen n as uh, Jenkins uh, Jenkins Helm so one file one we have open with the one quick file let's quickly change that cluster type to the load balancer so we'll get a load public IP and from that mm, let me quickly go outside and again switch here okay So let's quickly edit this. You have to change to the load balancer. Load balancer means you can connect with the outside world. So I just want I everyone can connect from outside world. Load balancer. We have provided the load balancer. Control C. WQ. As you would enter, uh, that has been edited. And when you again run the service file, you will get here and public IP. Okay. So it takes certain time to open this particular public IP so let me quickly copy this okay and let's quickly fresh open this part it takes some time because load balancer uh, takes some time to create so let's wait for few seconds and let's till then let's quickly uh, find our password Okay, it has not been copied. Uh, yeah, and we'll have get our password. It uh, this generally command gives us a password. What is the password of the Jenkins? So let me quickly copy this particular password and let me again reload. It takes certain time, or let's wait for just few s more seconds to start it. So yeah, our services are yep, uh, up and if you try again this, this is also running. So we have got the sign in option. So username is admin. Okay, and uh, if you don't know the password, you can just copy from here and just paste the sign in. So it will redirect you to the Jenkins Redbox. So this was the one of the uh, easy and quickest way to install Jenkins on the, the top of the Kubernetes with the help of Helm. So like this, you, uh, we have got the uh, Jenkins and uh, you can create a pipeline and you can build triggers and everything you can do. So uh, 
on the top of the uh, this we'll create pipeline into the upcoming videos and we'll see how you can step uh, as a worker no kubernetes as a worker nodes on the top of the jenkins so it was a this was a, a quick way i uh, have showed how you can install jenkins with the help of hello on the top of the kubernetes i will also share this command into your into the description so you can go and you can try from your side all right guys thank you so much for watching this video if you have any quick query you can ask me comment section and please like share and subscribe my video thank you so much